Hey guys, JK Wargames, and we're here for a second mission of Warfighter World War II, and we're going to play the Hard Slog mission. So we've got 52 resource points, we've got 11 turns, the objective is on slot 5, and we have to add 2 to the hostile value of the locations and the objective. So it's going to be a hard mission, but let's have a look who we've got. So, we've got our player soldier, he gets 3 actions because he has to take the veteran card which lets him gain one extra action each soldier turn. He's got marksman so he adds one to ranged attack rolls and I've decided to take five grenades and a scoped rifle and one canteen so I can expend to draw three cards. The next guy we have, Scallon, he has the machine gun and I made the mistake last time of when rolling three dice for auto, only one hit counts. If you want all three dice uh, hits to count, then you have to de deploy the bipod. So we've got the bipod token ready. Moving over, we've got Walsh. He gets three actions. He comes with an M1 rifle, but he does have the green card, so he has to subtract one from all attack rolls. And then our very last guy, Taylor, he only has one action and he has to take panic. So, without further ado guys, I'll draw my action cards and we'll get straight into it. Okay guys, here we go then. So, I've got my seven action cards and I drew one location card. So, we've got pasture and it costs one action to play. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna lay that down and our player soldier has used one action to do that. So we have to draw for uh, hostiles as soon as we do that. Now we have 52 resource points, so we need to draw until we get six points worth of hostiles. So here we go. First card is two. So we'll lay that down. Second card is six. So and it's a Panzer IV tank. So we don't need to uh, draw any more cards. But what we do need to do is draw to see who they're attacking. So let's have a look. So the ambushers will be attacking player number one. And the Panzer IV will be attacking player. We grab a token. Player number one. Okay, so let me just check on that card, vehicle. We can evade it for six XP, but we don't have that. And it's screened by one, a mobile one. Okay, right, so. So I've got two actions left with my player soldier. So his first action is gonna be to fire his scoped rifle because that's better at range. So I'm gonna fire at the ambushers. Now, at range one, I need an eight or better, and they have a cover of three. So let's see what we get. So I rolled a six, we defeated their cover, but a six um, is not enough, we needed an eight. But we do suppress that card because we beat the cover. So suppress marker on there. So he's got one action left, and he will take another shot, I think. So, needing an eight. And we got a ten, yes. So we killed one, and we beat that cover easily. So one of those is killed, and one guy is suppressed. So that's our player soldier done. Moving on to Scallon. His first action is going to be to move. Now he has an entrance cost of one and it costs two to get into this location. So I'm going to have to remove a card and I am going to remove in fact, no, I'm going to play advance. It says play when you, any soldier, are Paying an entrance cost, add three to your your any soldier movement value. 
Oh no, actually no, I'm gonna discard that. Sorry, getting confused. So discard that, so he can now move into there. So he's at range zero, and he's gonna open fire on this card with the machine gun. So he's used one action to do that, and in fact, he's going to use his second action to deploy the bipod. So we are deploying that bipod. So we can't fire this turn, but we are in that location ready to go for next turn. So player number three, Walsh, he's got three actions. Now let's take a look at some of our cards. Okay, I'm not gonna play any of those yet, but I do have you, any soldier may perform a move without spending an action. So I'm going to use that, and I don't have to discard anything to play that card. Now he has an entrance cost of three, so he's fine. So he's going to move into that location. Um, so he's still got three actions. Now he's going to fire with his M1 rifle, and he needs, at range zero, he needs a seven. And we're firing at the ambushes again. Uh, nope. Uh, we missed, and we missed, so there's no effect. So his second action, he's going to fire again, needing a 7. Uh, yeah, that's another kill. So that card will not be able to attack us now. And we've got one more action left, so he may as well use his third action to fire. So needing a 7. That's a nine, now one plus his penetration of one is two. It's not enough to beat the cover. It's a suppress, but the last guy's already suppressed. So that's unfortunate, I thought we would uh, get a kill there. Okay, and then moving on to our last player soldier, uh, sorry, our last soldier, Taylor. He's only got one action. So he is just gonna move into there. And he has an entrance cost of two, so he's fine. So he moves up like that. So what we're doing, our three guys are moving up and our player soldier is sticking back with the scope rifle because it's more effective at range. So now it's the hostile turn. So we need to draw for reinforcements. We have a reinforcement of three. So let's see what we get. And it's a three sniper team. And they will be attacking. Player number two. Okay, so let's lay that card down, like so. And they are, it's plus two to the entrance cost now, and they're screened by zero to one. Okay, so we've done that. They're going to attack now, so the ambushes can't attack us at all, but the Panzer IV can, so he's going to make his attack. He's still got two uh, guys, in that tank so we're going to roll and he rolls a three which beats our cover well equals our cover uh, but a one is a miss so that does put a suppression marker on our player soldier uh, the sniper team going for number two they're going to attack they roll a four which beats our cover but a three is a miss so that's a suppression marker on uh, Scallon. So we now close range so the uh, no one needs to move actually it's only if um, they're not in range to fire that they close range. So remove suppression counters which we do there and move the timer down one. So 10 turns left so we go straight into the Next soldier turn. Now, we're gonna to have to use one action on our player soldier to re remove the suppression marker. And then with our second action, we are going to fire. But before I do that, I've got a card, flanking attack. It says, you, any soldier, may perform a move, and then you may immediately perform an attack without spending actions. I'm tempted to use that, but I have to discard two cards, plus the entrance cost is now 
uh, four on this, so I'd have to discard one card to get our player soldier in there. So in fact, that's what we're going to do. So I'll get rid of that and that and that one. So we'll be left with no cards. But we can now perform a move action with player soldier number one. He's going to move in there. And he's now going to attack. So I'm going to throw a grenade. Now I've taken five grenades. So he is chucking a grenade at the ambushers. We have explosion four. So, and we have penetration of one. So we need to beat their cover. So any, what do we need? Sorry, any sevens is uh, gonna kill that card. And yep, we got two nines and a six to beat the cover. We have defeated that card. A grenade has gone off at their feet. And our player soldier gains 2 XP and he started with 2 XP so he's actually on 4. So that's good. Take those counters off. And we get our hostile pile there. And he's still got 2 actions so let's bring this down. Now I'm tempted to attack the tank with... So I'm tempted to attack the tank with a grenade, and that's what I'm going to do. So our second action then would be to throw a grenade at the tank, and it's explosion four. Now, we get plus two size, so we get to add plus two to the dice rolls, not the uh, cover, just the attack rolls. So we need sevens, and we get two eights, so we have defeated that tank because two hits oh no wait he's got penetration of uh, penetration he's got a cover of eight so we didn't uh, get through but we do put two suppression markers on there I was getting ahead of myself then but we do get to roll one more dice but it wouldn't make a difference it's another eight okay I don't want to waste any more grenades because we've suppressed that now so, our final action then will be to, what will we do? Well, we'll take a shot with the scope rifle, but we're not at very good range. So we're going to fire at the hostile sniper team. And at range zero, we need a nine. No, a roll of five, but we have beat their cover. So they are, one of them is suppressed. So that's our player soldier. So moving into Scallon, he has a suppression marker. So we need to use one action to get rid of that. And his second action is to fire the machine gun with spray. So we've deployed that bipod in the turn before. At range zero, we need sevens and we're attacking the uh, sniper team. So beat the cover. And we've killed one of the sniper team. So I'm just thinking, guys. Right, okay. So it didn't have a reload, which is great. So that, that's done. So on to Walsh. What's he going to do? He has three actions, so he is going to use his first action to fire. So he's going to fire at this sniper team, and he needs a seven. He gets a three, so they're already suppressed, that doesn't count. His second action, he'll fire again, needing a seven. Uh, nope. And then his final action is a seven. Come on, can we kill that sniper team? No, we can't. And we now have Taylor and his one action at range zero, he needs a six to hit. So he's going for the sniper team. Nope. So no effect. But luckily for us, these two cards can't attack us. 
So reinforcement draw, a reinforcement of three. And it's a three, would you believe it? Machine gun team. So we're gonna place them down and they are going to be attacking player number three, player number three. So he is the only card that can attack. So he's going for number three at range zero. He rolls a one, which is a miss, but he beats our cover. So the machine gun team put a suppressed marker on Walsh. Okay, so uh, close range, they don't need to. Remove suppression counters, so that tank is now active again. And remove that one from the sniper team. And we'll go into the next turn. Okay, so I've used my canteen to uh, draw three cards. And we've got two location markers and reloading. So I'm going to draw two locations here. So the first one is Lightwoods, free to play. And the second location is Crops. Okay, so I'm actually going to play Lightwoods because it's free to play at the moment. So I'm going to put that down, and then we have to draw for reinforcements. So, um, hostiles, sorry. So we have 52, so it's 5, but remember, this mission we have to add 2 to that, so it's actually 7. So 7 points worth 2, which is the ambushes. Lay them down, and then 2. So we have four points so far, and then one, which comes with an event. We'll draw that in a minute. So that's five. Recruits. And should be one more card. Yep. So we need to quickly draw. Now, what I'll do is put the, even though these cards here, are still in this location but I'll leave them there until we play a location there so we need to draw tokens to see who they're attacking so the ambushes will attack player number one wow he is just being targeted all the time and the card next to it is going to attack number three The recruits above him are going to attack number four. The card next to him is going to attack number two. And the card above him, which you can barely see, is number four. Now, that card came with an event, so we need to draw an event. So let's draw a card. It says... Minus two from this location's entrance cost. Okay, so it's an entrance cost of two, so it's now zero. So that's actually gone in our favor. Okay, so the first action I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw, discard and draw. So I'm gonna discard reloading and I'm gonna pull cards up to my hand of seven. So we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got plenty of location markers there. So what I will do is get rid of them and draw two locations. Now we've only got one more location to lay, but it's worth having two of them because we can choose the better one. So the first location is woods, quite a good one to play. And the second location is Ford. Okay, I'm not going to play a location yet because we need to get rid of some of these hostiles. And I forgot to say the objective is to eliminate hostiles on the bridge. But that is not active at the moment. So he's got two actions left then. So his first action then, well, sorry, no, his second action, he's going to with that scoped rifle, fire at the recruits up here. They are at range 
two. No, they're at range one. I've got to remember, they're at range one. So he needs an eight. He rolls a nine and equals their cover. So that is one kill on the recruits. And then his final action, he's going to do the same thing. Fire at the same card, needing an eight. There's a six. So that is a suppress, suppression marker on that card. Okay, moving on to Scallon. He is going to use his first action to fire. We've still got that bipod in effect. And he's going to fire at the sniper team here that we want to get rid of. So we only need one more kill on that card. Now we need sevens. Yep, we've got a 10 there, but we do, we have rolled a one. So we've gone empty on ammo until we reload. But that card is now killed and he earns three XP because that's a sniper team. So he's actually earned himself a good amount of XP for that. So let's get rid of that card. Goes in the pile, and then that card can come down there. And his final action then, he'll use it to reload the weapon. So he's reloading. That's his action spent. So, moving on to Walsh, he has a suppression marker, so we have to use an action to get rid of that, which leaves him with two actions left. So he's going to fire that M1 rifle at... The ambushes there. Now they're at range one, he needs an eight. He's rolled a four, but he didn't beat their cover, so no effect. And his last action, he'll do the same thing. No, but it does put a suppression marker on it. And then our final soldier, Taylor, his action. Is going to be to fire now he is at range one so he's going to need an eight to hit them going for the same card and he does get them no it's a six i thought it was a nine sorry i thought it was a nine okay so he does not get them but he does suppress because he beats the cover so have i got anything that would help me you, any soldier, may perform a move without spending an action. I'm going to play that card. And I'm going to move player number three, which is Walsh. He's going to move into location. Remember, this location is now zero because of that event. Anything else? Um... No, not at the moment. Okay, so it's the hostile turn. So we need to draw zero to two for that location, the light woods. Yep, so that is recruits. So we'll place them there next to that. And they're going to attack. Player number one. <laughs> he is the, the favoured guy to be attacked. And then reinforced for pasture is a three. Oh my god, I can't believe it. A truck. Now, we had this last time, a truck, and someone uh, commented that you have to reinforce with the truck. So, I would take that as I now draw cards, and if it falls in 0 to 3, then we play them. So, that truck goes down, and we have to... He has to... Even though he doesn't attack, you still have to draw a token for him. So, we've learnt from that one. So, that's going to be number 3. And then draw for his card effect, which would be the stragglers. And they come with an event, so they're going to go there. And they're going to attack. This is getting busy now. Wow. They're going to attack. Player number four. Okay. So...
Oh, event. They came with an event. So the event this time is plus two entrance cost. May be removed by an explosion attack. Defeat cover six, one hit. So the light words has gone from zero up to uh, two now. So they're going to attack now. So let's start here. The recruits, they're going for player number one. And they are at range one. They roll a five, which is a wound, but they didn't get through our cover. So they put a suppression marker on our player soldier. Uh, these guys here going for number three. So they're at range zero. Uh, no, they're all a five. That'll be a suppression marker on uh, player number three 